I'd like to share a little shortcut that I've developed using Google Forms. Now this is the new Forms that were updated over the summer of 2016 and it's about quizzes and if you haven't done that yet you can turn a form into a quiz if you have multiple choice answers. So you go to the settings button, I've already done this, and at the top there's quizzes and you just click make this a quiz. Now I've got it set up by default so that the students will see the answer immediately and they can also see the answers for missed questions. So I'm just going to save that, it's already a quiz. Now my students, after a week of teaching, they absolutely love the quizzes and they love the instant feedback, but as a teacher it's quite tedious to set up. So I'm just going to show you a very quick shortcut. Now I'm a maths teacher and basically I've put a question in here which is a graph and I've got an equation here and I've just said which is the correct one. Now, if you've used quizzes before, what you find you have to do is you have to click the question, you have to press the answer key, you have to put in here one point, and you have to assign the correct answer. This takes an awful long time to do 10 questions, and I'm finding after one week I've produced about seven or eight different quizzes, it takes too long to go through and click an answer on one point. So what I did is I've developed six answer keys. So I've got six answer keys that I wrote down onto a doc and I'm going to go into forms and I've got them all here as skeleton answer keys. So if I click open answer key one, I've already selected the correct answer. So all I'm going to do, if I want to write a quiz now, is I'm going to make a copy of one by right clicking and go and make a copy. A computer or Google's a bit slow. Now I've got the copy of that, I might rename that. And let's just call it example. Clicking on that, I can now edit it. Now it doesn't matter what you do, I've default every single answer key is 10 questions and A to D, but of course once you've got this default in you can play around with it to suit your needs. So if you want to in here write a question every time and you don't have to have A, B, C, you just put your answer in, but of course your answer will be in the one that's pre-selected. And this will just save you time having to go through, so I might choose a very quick maths question. It, I don't. I could put pictures in here if I wanted to, or I could just put text. So I can ask that question, and instead of having A, I can put two. Or actually, it's just double check. My answer is actually B. So it's three, two, four, and five. Now I don't have to go through, I've already got that checked as the correct answer, I don't have to go what I would do before, and that's the tedious thing of that and assigning the points to it. It just makes making up forms much, much quicker. And again, if I go back here, I've got six different answer keys, all set with 10, so the students aren't going to recognise any patterns. I think six is enough. If you want to set up ones with 15 or 20 or just five, that's fine. Just make up a key and copy and paste and rename documents and it's going to make your life a lot easier.